It's him right now. Todd Loman. What are we waiting for? Hold it, Tom. He's got a lame horse. He'll make a stand. There's no point in charging in on his rifle. And when the herd covers us, we'll fan out and go in behind him. Him, Senor Tom. This horse cannot run far. I can see that. Well, wait till he thinks he's safe. I'll go after him. Along? Let me go with you. I have to do this by myself. Now, you and the others just get Otis home. Senor Tom, I hope your father won't kill us all. I'll make him happy. I'll bring him Loman's ears.
All right, roll them fast. Paco's writing for the doctor, patron. We found Loman at Copper Hill Creek. He said a stampede. Senor Otis, he fell among the range horses. Where is Tom? After Loman, patron. Get him in the house. Stand right there. Drop your rifle. Now drop your pistol. Left hand. Now move out. That's far enough. I'm glad you're not just one of the board riders, because what I got to say is for your family. The night your brother Shorty died, I couldn't make anybody listen because everybody was panicky. So now you listen. I didn't kill your brother Shorty. He fell on his own knife. You think I'm lying? Ain't you proof enough I'm not killing you? You could be lying about that, too. You go back and you tell your people that I never killed nobody and I don't intend to. The only reason I'm running away is to prevent it happening. Just let me alone, that's all I ask. Now get! I could have put that bullet right between your eyes. Remember that, and remember that good. Now get up! Get out of here. They won't run you anymore anyway.
Time's coming. Whether he'll live or not, a couple of days will answer that. But I'm sure of one thing, he'll be paralyzed if he does live. Give the doctor a good breakfast in a room where he can rest. Six men with guns and fast horses. Six, Cromedy. And they let this drifter stampede their herd and ride away on a crippled nag. Otis was calling all the turns out of the road right down in there after him. Your brother paid for his mistake. How are you going to pay for yours? Instead of taking Miguel with you, try to play cat with a mouse and the mouse ate the cat. I was doing what you'd do. You'd have gone after him by yourself. What do you think I am? One of those fools that wants to be a big man with a quick trigger. The only time I ever went alone was when I didn't have money to hire guns. I'd ambush him if I'd have known he was that fast with a rifle. I ain't never seen a man get off a shot the way he did. And let me tell you something, it wasn't luck either. I'm not interested in why he got away. I'm only interested because he did. He doesn't have a horse now. What? I shot his horse. You shot his horse? Oh, I'm not going to take a beating off you now. I've had enough for one night. You men, clear out of here for now. Shot his horse. Carm, when I was a bounden servant boy to a dirt farmer in Tennessee, plowing from sunrise to moonset, I swore I'd make a mark in this world that people could see after I was dead. I raised my sons to own it, to keep the name on it. Now Short is killed. Maybe Otis, too. That saddle tramp has come close to washing my mark out. You and me are going after him this time, Carm. How many men do we take? True blood. Morgan. Bayless is fast, isn't he? Fast enough. Bayless, then. And Tom. Go tell him. Down there. He's packing all his gear. He won't get very far. First thing we'll find is the saddle. Came out of the gold chair, heading northwest.
Before you move, let's talk. I got nothing more to say. Well, let's try and think of something. Who are you? What are you doing here? No horse, no pack, just a rifle. You people ain't friends of the Boyds? Neither? This young fellow might be that drifter that Hunter Boyd's men have been beating the bush about. Doesn't look worth all the trouble, does he? That's a fact. Here, boy, take a fix on this. I ain't much for whiskey, mister. Go ahead and do as I say. <laughs> kind of starts fire burning again, don't it? <laughs> My name is Bradley. I live on the other side of Socorro. This is my daughter, Nita. You don't have anything to be scared of from us, as long as we don't have anything to be afraid of from you. I reckon that's fair enough. All right, let's get up. I expect it's been a long time since you had. We better camp here. Nita? Fix up some corn cakes and bacon and cut that bacon lean about a half inch thick. And let's break out that jug of blackstrap molasses and pour it over the corn cakes. Sound good, boy? <laughs> yes, sir. It Look. sure does. All right. Come on, get going. You must have gone straight across the lava bed. If you can't cross that, we'll cut the horses to pieces. Still an hour's light. We'll spread and come around. Whichever group picks up his trail on the other side will build a fire for a signal. And then I had this job riding fence for Mr. Restov over the mountains. And I'd done my work and I got my pay and I was heading out the next morning. Well, it's this dance at the schoolhouse. I don't know why I went because I can't dance. <laughs> But this girl there, she asked me to pump her a glass of water. What girl? What difference does it make? And quit interrupting. Go on, boy. Get to that knife. It was Shorty Boyd's girl, Miss Bradley. Well, I pumped her a drink, and Shorty Boyd came over and embraced me. He drew a knife on me, and I knocked him down. Didn't even know he was hurt until I saw the blood. Then I picked him up, and I carried him back into the schoolhouse. And that was a mistake. I found that out. I've been running ever since. You know the boy's father, Hunter Boyd? No, I never saw him. Hardly any people do see him anymore. I remember him 15 years back when he and that shadow of his comedy come riding up out of the blank on a couple of half-broke horses. Hunter's three kids sitting on a flatbed wagon pulled by a skinny old mule. Then Hunter staked his ranch and began to spread out. Whew. He spread fast. Son, he's a powerfully wicked man. Let nothing stand in his way. Except he's, he's got a queer sense of justice that's all his own. But I reckon you ain't gonna come in for a share of that. No, sir, I reckon not. I, I'm about a my wit's end, Mr. Bradley. I, I bet you they're out there someplace right now, just hunting for me. You got a right to defend yourself. You could drop a couple of bored men. Maybe the rest of them wouldn't be too eager. I'd just as leaf not do that if I can help it. Why? It's your life. You afraid to fight for it? I reckon if I weren't some afraid, Miss Bradley, I wouldn't be here right now to admit it. That's comforting, man. What are you most afraid of, boy? Being killed or killing? I don't think I ever could kill a man, or would, even if I had to. Well, a man's not always allowed time to think those things out. And that's a hard fact in this country. Maybe it's even a harder fact to try to forget what you've been taught and what you believe. Food's ready. down towards the river, dragging his feet. Easy tracking. All right, we'll stay here. Move at first light. Yeah. 
Here, boy, try this on for dessert. What is it? Genuine California orange. I traded for a dozen down in Fort Kingdom. What do I do with it? Just bite right in? Give it to me. Where are you from, Todd? Highway. Folks there? No. No, I'm fixing the joint up with my pa out here. Where is he? Well, someone down Santa Fe said he was up around Socorro. That's where I was heading when I got that job fence riding. Did you ever hear my pa around Socorro? No, I don't think so. Oh, not that way. Break it and eat the quarters. Mmm. <laughs> they had something. <laughs> I take it your pap got around a lot, Todd. Well, he never did come home after the war. He just had it out west here. He's going to send for my ma and me, but I guess things got kind of tough for him out here. So I came out after my ma died to see if I could give him a hand. If I can find him. I've been looking for three years now. He deserted your mother and you're going to give him a hand? No wonder you're in trouble, boy. You're just not very bright. I thank you for showing me how to peel an orange, Miss Bradley. Todd. I've got six daughters. This one's my oldest. She's the nearest thing I ever had to a boy. I put up with her. I'd take it kindly if you'd overlook her bad manners. Here, you. Here's some soap. Get in the hot water pool and wash. I'll scrub your clothes while you're bathing. No, thank you, ma'am. I'm all right. You smell like a goat. Well, go on. I want to bathe, too. I always heard it was ladies first. No ladies here. I can rope and brand and I don't ride side saddle. Well, maybe you can do all them things, but you can't watch me take no bath. Then stink, but sleep a hundred feet away from us. Is she gonna get stark naked? I asked you not to think unkindly of her. What's out there? Nothing. You don't like this job. Let Loman ride off, Hunter. He'll get his chance. I mean off and out. I got a funny feeling about this. Hey, get away from them clothes. I'm gonna wash them. Oh, hush up and wash yourself. 
You don't behave like any girl I ever knew. Well, thank you. How many you know? Oh, a couple, I guess. Would you please help me a drink of water? I know that kind. See what you got you into? It's cold in here. I want to get out. Now. Well, do your good and relax and help your blister. Besides, I'm not finished yet. Lita. Lita. That fellow woman's gone. <laughs> well, I'll be doggone. Hey, son, that's a good idea. I think I'll join you. I used to be known as champion swimmer down in West Texas. My dearest son, I have so little to leave behind which will be of any use to you. There's just this Bible and my picture. I ask you never to be without it. Believe in it, accept its wisdom. It will comfort you. Try to keep the commandments taught. And you will keep your soul. Always remember, I love you, Mother. Make room for you, boy. That old mule's backside ain't gonna make for comfortable sitting. And if it starts to gall, I'll change with you. We get to my place, I'll loan you a horse, and then you can go on into Socorro. Mr. Bradley, just one thing I want to ask. Huh? If we run into any board riders, just let me take care of myself, because I don't want anybody mixing into my trouble. Well, looks like I might be mixed in anyway. Todd, walk around on this kind of slow to my side of the mule. Easy with that rifle, boy. Mm. 
Bradley. You better stand away from me. I'll stand where I please. Mr. Bradley, would you make a getaway? You kid simmer down. That's Hunter Boyd and Carmody riding down. If they's gonna shoot at you, you'd already be dead. Morning, Hunter. Carmody. Amos. One of your girls, Amos? She sure is. Nita, this is Mr. Hunter Boyd and Mr. Carmody. Good morning, Miss Nita. And this young fella, he's my guest. Sure. You aiming to give him a hearing? If it's short. Talk it up, boy. Did Tom tell you what I said? He told me. I got no reason to believe it. Short it fell on his night, Mr. Boyd, and that's the Lord's truth. Trouble is, nobody saw it happen but the Lord. He don't talk to me. I got another son, Otis. He was mashed up in that stampede. Well, if it was, it wasn't intended. I couldn't just sit there and hold against six men. Now, my third son owes you a horse. The boys are not horse killers. I'm giving you this horse with your saddle. I figure we owe you some time for that walk you had to take. I'm giving that time back to you. You've got till noon. Leak out of this region fast. But sleep with one eye open and ride on the far side of your horse. Amos, you plan to take part in this? I ain't sure. You're gonna ride with us. I'll get you some grub. You've got to make him ride with us. Look, they're gonna kill him if he goes by himself. Papa, please don't let him go by himself. Here you are, Todd. Neil and I are traveling the Mission Trace, but I wouldn't advise you to take it. It's open country, and they could see you from miles. There's three other ways you can get out of this valley. You could follow the river up to the Divide, then there's the pass to the south, then through the north, but that's Comanche country. Either way, you can get to Socorro. I'm much obliged to you, Mr. Bradley. Godspeed, boy. Riding up the river. We might switch off. All right. It's got four hours. Well, I can't figure it out. I live to be a hundred years old. I'm never going to be able to figure you out. Sun straight up. It's noon. Honey, are you blaming me for not trying to do more for that boy? Nope. Now, I want everybody to profit from Tom's experience with Lowman's rifle. Whoever gets on his tail, don't give him a chance to snap a shot at you. He won't miss. I'll take Tom and go over the river. Morgan, you and True Blood cut through Comanche country. Carmody and Bayless will go over the pass. Oh, you can take Bayless with you. I'll travel alone. I got a notion. Suit yourself. We'll join up in Sakura.
Hate being alone, eh? I can't say as I blame you. I know you? Yes, sir. Down in Santa Fe. I traded with you for this rifle. No. I recollect. Uh, both these horses yourn? No, just this and the other one's trailing. You're Loman. Yes, sir. I'd like to buy some rifle shells if you got them for my gun. I got them. Would you give me two dollars worth, please? Where are you heading? Socorro. Here, here's some money. Well, that's where I'm going. Why don't you ride with me a piece? I reckon you know that the Boyds are looking for me. Sure. But if I were you, I'd forget about the Boyds for a while. This is Comanche country. You can go through safe with me. I trade with them. Mm, I reckon I'll just take the rifle shells. Yeah. It's up to you. Seems kind of stupid to have the Boyds and the Indians chasing you, too. Get there! Hey, Mr. Lampert Finger! Pull up, I'll saddle my horse. No. Get up here with your rifle. Pull up, Mr. Leopard Finger. You don't owe me anything. Boy, you sure do work hard at doing the wrong thing. Look, I got a reputation with a gun darn near as good as you. Now, if them are Boyd men, they'll think twice before they jump the two of us. Now, do like I say. Get up here. See if they'll show their hand. So you keep your on your rifle. Let me do the talk. Chilly, ain't it? Yeah, kind of. Heading up Socorro way, are you? Not directly, no. Got to go to Magdalena first. Got a load to pick up there. See, so you got some extra horses. Yeah, this awful rough country on horses. We lost one just last week. Be 
Been seeing you. Well, what are you waiting for? What? They're, they're Boyd's men. Cut down on them. I'll help you bury them. The horses, too. Nobody will know. I can't do that. Just trying to be constructive. Get up there! Hey! Come up there! How are you? Come down! First time I've ever been followed by people ahead of me. Makes me nervous. When they get out of sight, stop and let me off. I'll saddle up and cut back. Run, huh? Afraid to kill a man? I did kill a man. I killed Carmody. Carmody? Son, if you've got them kind of guts, you can sure swat these flies. People understand killing sickens a man. A man's got a right to convictions, I guess. The only thing is, they don't help anybody, including himself, unless they fit the time and the place. And boy, this ain't the time and the place. Them birds up there are going to ambush us from them rocks. The kid may be onto us. We should have made our move back there. I would have. Except for that rifle. I'd sooner face that than Hunter Boyd if we lose Loman. Ah, uh, we won't lose. Come on, boy. Here they come back. I'm not going to risk my neck for no fool. Get your saddle and horse. <laughs> Solo, Vic. The four of us can stand them off. Them engines are friends of mine. You're Boyd's man. You're after this kid to kill him. Now get away from us. Get up. Them engines is after horses. Let them have them. Get in the back of the wagon and cut them loose. If you ain't gonna shoot, you ought to be good for something. Cut the lead team off.
just can't figure why them Comanches attacked me. That last barrel of whiskey I sold, it must have been bad. <laughs> I don't like to have customers complain like this. I didn't know it happened that way. What? I thought a boy would come courting for maybe a year. And then one day we'd just sort of decide we were in love. I didn't know it could happen so quick. In just one night. You know something? What? You might make it. Got any messages there for me? I don't know. Who are you? Hunter Boyd. Nope. Not a thing. If Carmody got him, he'd have sent you a message from Fort Walker. Messages go to the hotel. Do you mind if I stay for a while, Mr. Boyd? I'm sort of dry it out. See that you don't pass out. Surprised you didn't recognize him. I did. But I just don't like him or his money. Oh, been expecting you, Mr. Boyd. Got a message for you. Came down from Fort Walker this morning. What's the matter? So I'm home. Otis is dead. If you want to go on home, I'll stay here and wait for the others. I won't go home while Loman lives. I'll join you. As soon as I stable his team. Get up there, you. Hey!
Howdy. What'll it be? You got anything to eat? Yeah, I guess so, if you don't want it hot. Uh, it don't matter. Anything you got. Eggs? You like cheese? Sure. What do I owe you? Quarter. You want something to wash that down with? Yeah, a glass of water, please. Water? Did you ever know anybody around here named Charlie Loman? Loman? Yeah, I remember him. Do you know where he is now? Seems to me that somebody told me he was working as a carpenter out of the Spanish mission. That's uh, about, about 20 miles up the river. Hey, mister. Didn't you forget to pay? There's a dollar, ain't that enough? That's Boyd money. I told you before, I don't want it. But I'll take yours. Just hold right still. Up against this wall. Face it. Now unbuckle your belt. are in the street. Get out the back way. I'll bring your horse around. There's a back door. You, move. Quick, quick, move. Go and get Bayless. Hey, Dad. This is Carmody's horse, but this ain't his saddle. Lomans. You got in trouble, Mr. Boyd? Step aside. Don't you remember me? Jake Leffertfinger. I used to haul freight down in your country. Get out of my way. Where's Bayless? Who's Bayless? Man who was in here with me a few minutes ago. Oh, him? He went out. There's a back door. cared for him as best we could. There were days when he felt stronger, worked a little about the mission, or traded for us in Socorro. But he had no wish to leave. He was waiting for death. Didn't he ever say anything about my mother and me? Yes. He spoke about his wife often, and of you. But he spoke of you as if you were a child. Yeah, that was a long time ago. She, uh... I just don't understand why I just kept on going, why I never came back to us. We can't understand everything. Some men seek the meaning of life for themselves. Some think to find it across another river, beyond another mountain. Perhaps this man was one of those.
Did he owe you anything? No, nothing. Thanks for looking after him, Father. expected to lay eyes on you again. Me neither. <laughs> Looked like you've been drugged through a keyhole. <laughs> How in the world did you manage to shake them off? Well, I'm not so sure I have yet. Well, you sure are welcome here. Come on. Then. No, I think I'd better not. I just want to borrow a horse if you'd let me. I got a board horse over there under the trees. I'd sure like to get shed of him. Sure, I'll let you have a horse. How much time do you think you got? I figure I'm out in front. I'm heading over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Unless Board wants to follow me all the way to Montana, I'm running free. Well, good. Now, come on in this house. No, I, I just... with me, boy. Come on in here. Mama! Cardito! Manuel! Cardito, there's a horse in the grove. I want you to unsaddle him, turn him loose, and bring the saddle to the stable and put it on the black mare. You savvy? Senor. All right, get going. Manuel! Manuel! Mind you, stead, senor. Now, I want a lot of grub. I want it hot. Fast Pero a esta hora, señor. We've got a hungry man here, and we want to feed him good. I want you to make some chili rellenos, tacos, tamales, Pero señor, este no se puede hacer tanto en tan poco rice. tiempo. Oh, come on, you know how to do it. Y también quiere postre. No, no, he just wants food. Now hurry, ándale, ándale. Todo lo que pueda. Todd, I'm giving you the best horse I've got. He'll take you far and fast. And, oh, I want you to meet my wife, Mariana. Mama, this year is Todd Loman. I thought it might be. We have talked of you, Mr. Loman. And uh, Todd, this is the rest of my heifer ranch. Oh, my, my daughters, God. Rosita, Conchita, Sophronia, Lapita, and that one there is Mary. Of course, you already know Nita. Yes, sir, I, I know her. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute now. Be polite. Speak English. He's awful skinny. <laughs> Maybe you better speak Spanish. <laughs> this boy has come from very far away. We must make him feel very welcome. Go on in the kitchen, Loman. Come on, there. come on. Papa, please take Mr. Loman to the big bedroom. I will get hot water. Yes, my dear. Come with me, Todd. How do you like my family, son? That's a real nice family, Mr. Brown. Come on. Many travelers come here. We don't ask their names, or where they come from, or where they go. I just want to know about one traveler, Loman. You're disturbing the prayers of my people. Do you know who we are? I know this man. He's Mr. Hunter Boyd. All right, then why don't you just tell us which way Loman rode? Am I being threatened only with death? Nothing else? You. You and Bailey, wait outside. Loman done for you. Why do you protect him? Wherever this man goes, somebody turns a hand to help him. They don't even know him. Why? 
You ask a difficult question, Mr. Boyd. You've asked me to explain the human heart. Senor, wait for morning and start tracking again? No. Might have made one more stop. We'll see. I'm sorry to hear about your father, boy. I'm glad you found him. Yeah, so am I. For what it was worth. You know, if there's ever a law in this territory, some of the law besides Boyd's law, and you'd like to come back, I'd sure be proud to have you help me with this ranch. I'd sure like that. If I live that long. Sure give you a chasing, didn't it? But you left your mark on them, too. That don't pleasure me none. Four men are dead because of me. Well, son, you got a right to defend yourself. Is my life worth more than four men's lives? You don't have to answer that. Honey boy has to answer that. I want to tell you something else, and I might as well talk real plain to you. It's about Nita. She's my adopted daughter, and I feel very close to her. She's apt to want to go with you when you leave here tonight. She's awful young, headstrong, and quick to make a decision. Todd, she'd leave with you tonight here if you just so much as crooked your finger at her. You got nothing to worry about, Mr. Bradley. Thank you, boy. Now, come on. We got to get you some clean clothes. Betcha. Muchas gracias. Muy bien, muy bien. Aquí está. Y tú, ya batiste bastante. Ve a traer el vino. Ya se nos está haciendo muy tarde. Looks like I'm rich is gonna fetch you. <laughs> Hot water for you, Mr. Lomas. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, it looks like my women folks are dead set on washing you, ain't you, Todd? Come on, boy. Come over here. Sit down here. Come on. Sit down and dig in. Ain't nobody else going to eat? We've already had. We'd be glad to sit with you. Come on, girl. Sit down. Sit down there. Look good, boy. My gosh, Mother. I never realized it. She's really a grown-up woman. Que quieres, viejo, tiene 18 años. Is that a fact? Muy bonito. Preciosa. Won't you sit down? It's getting cold. Uh, oh, <laughs> sure. Oh, it's so nice to have another man at the table. Mr. Bradley and I always wanted to have a half a dozen boys on one side and as many girls on the other. Oh, sure. <laughs> Why don't you, Mama? We already have the girls. Well, what you plan, honey, is one thing, and what you... No, I'm not unhappy about you. I wouldn't trade any of you for a pair of mules. Oh. But, Todd... I'd just like to have one boy in this house to back me up in my arguments with all these females. Oh. Then let the stroke have another chance, Papa. Uh. Mariquita, niña. Uh. Oh. Uh. Niña. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. How much farther is this Bradley place? Next big bend in the river. las estrellas si es que de noche me ven llorar This is a pretty place Hills ringing all around and 
in the river. I'd like to stay here for a while. I mean, I was, I was never in a home like this before. You going over the song to Cristo? Yes, ma'am. Can't you call my name? Need it? I know the way over the song to Cristo. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if you did. Been almost everywhere. As far north as Pueblo. That's a real nice home you got here. After a while, it's going to even be a better place when the country grows up a little bit. Your dad tells me there are new wagons coming in here all the time. They push him to command, she's further back, and pretty soon we'll be safe out here. And Why then you... can't you stay here with us? Well, I'd only get you all into a lot of trouble. Suppose we want to share your trouble. Suppose we just feel that way about it. Wouldn't that make any difference to you? Done all you can. Call my name again. Nita. Comedy's horse. It looks like you guessed right. Tú ya no dudes que yo te quiero. Señor, there's riders by the river. How many? Three, I think. Mama, take the kids in the house. Muchachas. Rosita. Get Señor Loman's gun. Sí, señor. Todd? Todd! There's three riders by the river. Now, Cardi, it'll take you through a ravine. That'll put you on a trail over the Sangre de Cristo. Are you going to have any trouble, Mr. Brown? No trouble? If it's Boyd, I'll stall him for a while. Come on, boy, you better get out of here. <laughs> Señor. Visiting, ain't it? One question, Amos. Is he here or isn't he? And don't lie to me. I know he's been here. We found that horse down the road. Mm-hmm. He's here. And here he's going to stay. I got no quarrel with you, but I'm taking him. 
If he's got a bead on us from a window, I'll drop you when he shoots. He's not that kind, and you know it. And tell him to come out. That'd be impolite. I can't ask the man to leave my house after I've taken him in. Pointing yourself to defend him? Why not? You've appointed yourself as his executioner. Man's entitled to some defense. Loman kill comedy. So I heard. The Lord rest Mr. Carmody's kindly soul. Otis is dead. He comes out, Amos, or we go in. He's not in the house, Hunter. Well, you sure stretch your story around. I'll have to see for myself whether he's in there. My family's there, sir. More than half my family's dead. You buffaloed me out on the trail. Of course, there wasn't much I could do about it anyway, being just one man. Well, so I'm still just one man, but I'm standing in front of my home. Hunter, you go in there, you go in over me. Follow the ravine, senor. You'll find the trail. I must go back. and two other men. They searched the house. Hair bandages. Some hot water, please. How many times was he hit? Three. The neck is just a flesh wound. The shot through the stomach came out clean. But he has a bullet in his thigh. I must remove that one. If I can stop the blood, I think my husband will live. You want me to cut out the bullet? No, no, no. I have done this thing before. back for he's gone into Socorro for men he'll raise an army if he can get out of here boy and keep running no more talking stop talking Goodbye, senor. You know how to go. Yeah, but like the man said, this ain't the time or place for that. Todd! I think he has gone to Socorro, senorita. too much fat back in your bellies? You got too much cash in your pockets? All right. Two hundred. Two hundred in gold for every man. You mean I can't get any takers? Two hundred in gold is more money than half of you'll ever see in one lump. Maybe so. Two hundred dollars ain't very much money for killing a man, Mr. Boyd. That's not for killing. That's just for riding. But there's 2,000 in gold for the bullet that gets the job done. Well, you're talking up now. 200 a man, 2,000 in gold. You pack that much with you, Mr. Boyd? Go to the hotel. Send their messenger to Fort Walker with a telegram from my bank in Pueblo. Tell them I want 10,000 in gold waiting for me. Tell them to shine it. Have it stacked on the bar in the Pueblo saloon.
the saloon. See if you can get across the road. I'll keep a word from here. Tom! Yo! Are you hit? Not bad! Tom! You got that shotgun loaded? It's loaded! Bendis is here with me. Wait for us to make a move.
Long after we're dead. You and me both. They'll be telling this story. They'll tell it in a dozen different ways. None of them will favor me. Maybe they shouldn't. Just one thing I'd like to be remembered. That I gave you your life because you saved my last son. You'll grant me that. I don't much mind going to hell for the rest of it. I'll grant that. And I have no doubt but that you will, Mr. Boyd. Hello, you beautiful Spanish devil. <laughs> A writer's coming. 